wanna get away, but I could use some company. If you're alone like me, we could go on a trip. Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Grace. In today's video, I'm going to be redoing or refinishing a lampshade. I had this lampshade and it was just kind of blah for me and I wanted to give it a little bit of life, spruce it a little bit up. If you watched my last video, I did a Timu unboxing or unbagging and I ordered mostly stuff that I can use for DIYs. I wanted to show you guys that you necessarily don't have to spend a fortune in uh, big arts and crafts stores. You can go to your dollar store, you can go to Timu, you can go wherever you want. There are places that you can get things that are more affordable. I'm telling you, I don't have a craft budget. I go to the dollar store, I pick up bits and pieces and I sort of accumulate a little stockpile. And then when I'm going to create a project, I look at what I have and I incorporate what I have into something. Getting back to the lampshade, this video is just a sample of upcoming videos that I'm going to be doing for um, lampshades and they're going to have different colors, different styles. And I just want you to see that a lampshade doesn't just have to be a lampshade. You can spruce it up just like anything else. A lot of us get stuck on a lampshade or a shape, maybe it's a shape that we don't like and we wanna change it a little bit. You know what, maybe add something to it that you won't even pay attention to the shape anymore. And I think that's what I did with this one. And I love, love, love the way it turned out. And I want you to see it. And I hope this video inspires you to do that. If you've seen my last Timu haul, you've seen that I purchased these and I thought they were really pretty. I got them in all different colors. I got them in uh, reds, blacks, and blues, and so many different colors. So I was looking at it and I thought, hey, I can really do something with this. I have this lampshade that I like the shape of it. Not crazy about the color, but I thought, you know what? I can really play with this and have some fun. We just have to play with it to see um, how I want it. Do I want it like this? Um, maybe just like this. Um, I think that might be okay. You know what? I'm going to play around with it. So I'm going to cut this because I don't really need this part. These are those cute scissors I got um, at Timu. Just wondering if it's going to frill and it's not, which is great. So, no, I kind of like it like this. I'm just going to be using Mod Podge only because maybe turning on the light. I don't know if I use glue, if it's going to melt the glue or not. Um, Mod Podge, I've worked with Mod Podge before on items like this and it actually worked. So we're going to go with it today. I'm just going to be putting it just lightly because I don't want it to go through. Maybe I should have taken a bigger... Um, a bigger brush. I really just want to give it the basic. Okay. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know Really wanna know If I Will ever figure out Where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for me I don't know if this is gonna hold I might have to use some glue Oh guys look how pretty I might have to use some glue. I don't know. The Mud Podge is not, I don't feel that it's working that great. Well, I'm saying that. I'm just gonna put a, a little bit of glue just in case. I really wanna use this up, but I don't wanna use that whole green thing. So maybe I can tuck this in there. We're gonna change it and we're gonna change things up a little bit and go with glue. I did the Mod Podge, I wasn't too happy with it. Um, so I'm gonna try E6000. I don't wanna put too much. Um, so we're just, I'm just gonna attach it a little bit to make sure that, you know, 
it stays because I don't think the Mod Podge was working. Oh yes, this is much better. So skip the Mod Podge, go right to the E6000, you'll be fine. Wonderful. I'm actually just putting a little dab. You don't need a lot. Oh, wow. So this is what we've got so far. And I've cut up some pieces and we can certainly put it maybe somewhere here. Okay, that's not going anywhere now. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Now I'm using the one inch Mackenzie Childs uh, ribbon. I don't know how this is gonna turn out guys, so just bear with me. I'm not gonna put too much. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. The sky is falling down. Put a little bit of glue just where I feel that it's come apart a little bit. Oh my gosh! Oh, come on, that's gorgeous, if I may say so myself. Okay, we're gonna do the same to the bottom. bit loose so I'm going to put these around so that I can continue and then they won't be loose again there you go e6000 your best friend now, when you're going to cut here, what you do is you put one over the other, just like so, and then you cut them like this. Just a tad. So I'm going to let these dry a little bit. So what I'm doing now, because there's of course the space of the ribbon, I'm just, you know, with the glue, I don't want to cut the ribbon because it will press in once it's dry. Here's the lamp and I think it turned out so pretty. Oh my goodness, I am in love with it. I want to show you with the light on.
Well, what did you think? Did you like it? Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. And by creating this lampshade, it sort of gave me other ideas to do with different colors and different styles of lampshades in upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. It really, really, really helps my channel grow. Please, if you can consider subscribing, it would mean so much to me. For now, take care of each other, be kind. Always remember that you want to reach a point in your life when you say remember when and never ever I wish I did. We'll see you next time and thank you for spending some time with me.